Greetings once again, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Today's talk takes a quick look at the, the new Nissan LEAF and as a comparison to Tesla, which is obviously appropriate. Nissan and Bonjour Begues for Cessna Models 5 by Nenstraz Vice. Ni hao ma. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Today's talk focuses on the fact that Nissan just presented photos and announced their Nissan LEAF. Cars not expected to arrive until January in the United States, but they'll be testing it out in Japan until then. Um, I was eager to see what would happen with this car because sort of Nissan is, if you will, the principal competitor to Tesla, given that they've been in the market about the same amount of time. They've sold a lot of cars. Um, they're attached to a great manufacturer, Nissan. So I was expecting a lot from what this vehicle was going to do, particularly when we look at the Model 3 coming out in numbers. <laughs> in numbers. <coughs> so the raw specs on the car are that it goes 150 miles. It costs about $30,000. Um, there are three levels of charging. One is a 16 hour long basic 110 current charge. Uh, the other is a sort of half that amount of time, about an eight hour charge. And the final one is they actually have a uh, supercharging ability, which allows you to charge the battery in 40 minutes, which I was really impressed by. The, um, another aspect of the vehicle is that, as you can see, they've chosen the similar to the bolt body vehicle style. Uh, which facilitates it being more of an SUV, which I think fits more people and more goods when it comes to runs to Home Depot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there are some attractive as aspects of this vehicle. Um, as I reviewed all the numbers, especially in light of the Model 3, you have to admit that when it comes to distance, which is a big determinant of people buying this car, uh, it's come kind of lacking at 150 miles of range, even though they've talked about more range for more money is available, but I, I didn't see what exactly that might be. Um, when I look at this car and I look at the Bolt, I almost feel like I want to say this vehicle is somewhat misunderstood. And the reason I say this is that the problem that we're having right now with evaluating vehicles coming out that are supposedly competing with the Model 3 or other Tesla vehicles is that there are these large manufacturers that are making good money on other cars. And for example, in the case of the Bolt, they lose $9,000 with every vehicle. So the strategy that's going on is that those large companies can afford to lose a billion dollars sort of getting a proof of concept going where they're actually testing out different ideas just to see how the marketplace receives them. That way down the road, they'll be ready to go with every aspect of being successful once they have everything together. So if I were to assess what was happening here, I'd have to say that's kind of what's happening with the Nissan LEAF. It's less a competitor to Tesla, but more of a, you know, let's keep testing so we'll be ready when prime time comes. Even though I do believe I've been hearing about something called the Nissan Envy, which is a European vehicle that's be, you, being sold directly to consumers, and there are a lot of delivery companies using it in inner city settings. So with that 40 minute recharge and 150 mile range, this vehicle actually is perfect in a fleet setting uh, to go ahead and, and be involved in deliveries uh, throughout Europe. So I'm wondering if, you know, given that you can get numbers immediately and the capability of the vehicle, particularly the supercharger ability, um, so that that makes up for the 150 mile range because you could just go back to a supercharger and recharge if there are any issues. So in general, I would say better looking car than previous, um, better range at 150 miles, even though 200 is sort of considered the standard for what's necessary to get large consumer adoption um, and then supercharger ability is nice and also having the SUV configuration. 
So congratulations to Nissan for getting an inexpensive vehicle done with more range, even if it really isn't set to go prime time against te the Teslas of the world and even the bolts of the world currently. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Tschüss, macht's gut, au revoir, la hitrot, choda hafez. Have a great day and look forward to our next conversation. Please like and subscribe.